Hello, my name is Dr. Gulam Bahadur. I'm a consultant clinical andrologist. I'm going to talk to you about something you have never heard of before, believe you me. It, you think you know the answer, but you don't. And so let me ask the question, how long do sperm survive in the uterus? Do you have an answer? Well, I bet you don't, because uh, you may tell me it's one hour, two hours, 24 hours, three days, 72 hours, seven days, eight days, two weeks. I've heard all this all over many, many times. There is, nobody really has an answer. If you were to ask anyone, they'll, they'll come up with, with, a, with, with a time, but it is not evidence-based. A lot of this information appears on the website of private clinics. 72 hours. Now, I have reviewed over 2,500 peer published papers to get to this answer, so you'd better listen to this very carefully because I have done a lot of work for you here. If we could answer this question, we would certainly improve our pregnancy rates by miles here. Now, there are two scenarios here in a subfertile relationship. One is sperm in an intercourse situation where sperm swim, uh, uh, get filtered through the cervical mucus and then they'll, uh, they'll swim into the uterus. The second scenario is that you have inseminated sperm. Obviously, I would, on balance of probabilities, state that the first scenario uh, of uh, natural intercourse sperm, the sperm entering the uterus are much, much stronger. Now, I have actually, over, the, over a long, long time ago, I used to leave very good quality donor sperm just in, a, in the bottle and follow it uh, over the days. And I had survival, a good survival at five days. With some of the patient samples that I did, I just left them in a pot in the native seminal fluid. And uh, I had survival of the, of the period of one to 36 hours those sort of survival. So you can see the distinction between healthy sperm and unhealthy or, or, or sperm from subfertile male. And of course, in the old days, they had the 24 hour swim up and in that 24 hour swim up, whether it was good or, or not, in, the, in that period, uh, they, they actually questioned whether, in fact, it was never a predictor of, of a pregnancy from that point of view. So in vivo, we know nothing about uh, what really happens. Uh, I mean, do we know what happens? Uh, gen generally speaking, we talk in terms of the female secretions uh, helping the sperm survival. Uh, but where is that data? I mean, uh, in fact, the, the only work that had been done was in vitro, vitro studies of oviductal fluid and follicular fluid. And in fact, all it showed was that the oviductal fluid for the same group of samples had lo the sperm survival was uh, much longer than um, than follicular fluid. Now this doesn't say anything about what's happening in 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 vivo. What happens in in real time? So the so where did we get this information? that sperm survive for so long? The answer is nowhere. Nowhere has this information written down. And the very old studies uh, were quite extraordinary because they inseminated women who were about to undergo hysterectomy. And then they took sections off it. Now, again, the extraordinary thing about all this information is that there's very little control data how they were inseminated, we don't know whether they had intercourse, whether they ha in some cases they used donor sperm, and then they took sections of the uterus, and they, all they could say was a sperm were in, found in the crypts here. But that sperm could have been from previous intercourse episodes also. So the truth of the matter is, if we could answer this specific question about how long sperm survive in the uterus, Believe you me, you don't have the answer. I don't have the answer either. I think this is the most fundamentally missed point in our whole field of subfertility. And I want you to think very, very carefully about it. 
we do not know how long that sperm survives. Now, I have an un uh, some suggestion is that when it comes to insemination, like intrauterine insemination, if we don't know how long that sperm is going to survive in the uterus, why not attempt to do two inseminations in that follicular phase? 24 hours, 36 hours. We absolutely don't know how long they will be surviving that sperm. And believe you me, that we are going to publish data which will show. What it will show is that the pregnancy rates are significantly better in the double insemination cycle. Thank you very much.